remain true. I'm currently an artist in Swindon and I run three art groups with about 70 people in each week at the moment. Previously I was an emotional counsellor with my own counselling practice in Swindon for 20 years. Carol Bent is a great friend and a fantastic role model for me and I want to help her with a STEM to STEAM campaign and that is what this little film is about. One of my inspirations is nature and the film was taken at the Wilts and Barks Canal in Royal Wood and Bassett. These are some of the benefits of introducing art properly into the curriculum. We want to encourage creative and visual thinkers and this is how we can do it. Through art pupils experience their world, their knowledge, memories and fantasies all feed their imagination. Art can help to explore, to build on and record their own creative ideas. And Pictures on the Fridge is a good example of this. Expression. Pupils' experiences of the world can be expressed and this is better out than in. Don't keep something inside, it doesn't do any good. Reliving a happy event or drawing out sad feelings in therapy. Visual thinking. Pictures help us understand the world visually instead of restructive learning to words and numbers. It's a skill used in many professions if you think about it. Observational skills. Making pictures helps observation of the subject matter of real world scenes. The child will get a visual sensitivity of the world around them. And they may understand what birds they're seeing or what animals they're seeing in the wild but only if they've learnt that. Problem solving. Pictures help explore and test out new ideas. How can you create a three-dimensional scene on a two-dimensional page? If you ever tried to learn perspective, you'll find that concentration and persistence pays off. And lastly, autonomy. Your picture is your own. It has worth in its own right, without having to be judged, right or wrong. This builds confidence and self-esteem. Now these notes have come from research by Dr Richard Jolly, Senior Lecturer in Child Psychology at Stafford University, 2010.